Five most incredibly long surgeries in history. An operating room evokes two images, that of a patient fighting for his dear life and a surgeon saving a precious life. Both endure the tedious surgical procedure, but what if an extraordinary case requires getting stuck in the OR for a day or more? Here are the five most incredibly long surgeries in history that are truly mind-blowing. Number 5. Richard Holbrook, 21 Hours Richard Charles Albert Holbrook was a distinguished American diplomat and author who had a five-decade stellar career in the diplomatic field. Before he died on December 13, 2010, Holbrook held the position of Special Advisor on Pakistan and Afghanistan working under former U.S. President Barack Obama and Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. On December 11, 2010, the 69-year-old diplomat was in a meeting with Clinton when he suddenly collapsed due to chest pains. He managed to walk to the State Department's parking garage aided by a medic and was taken to the George Washington University Hospital. He was diagnosed with an aortic dissection, a rare condition that required a 21-hour surgery. Doctors labored for almost a day to repair the tear in Holbrook's bleeding aorta. When his condition stabilized, he underwent another procedure on December 12th in order to improve circulation in his legs. However, all the efforts ended up futile as Holbrook didn't survive from complications of his condition. His last statement before undergoing the 21-hour surgery was reportedly, You've got to end this war in Afghanistan. Number 4. Wang Baokun, 32 hours. Two brain-related tumors, three surgeons, six anesthesiologists, six surgical procedures. They aren't just random figures, but facts involved in a 32-hour surgery that took place in June 2014 at the Fujian Medical University Union Hospital in China. The series of surgeries started at 8.30 in the morning on June 21st and ended at sunset on June 22nd. According to one of the surgeons, Dr. Shen Jiaping, the patient named Wang Boquin suffered from aneurysm and brainstem hemangioblastoma. The remedy was to perform six different surgical procedures to remove both tumors. And most definitely, it was no ordinary surgery. It can be difficult, risky, and time-consuming. If you were removing one tumor and the other one breaks, it can be fatal. Dr. Chen said. The three doctors took turns in taking a rest for just two hours each during the whole duration of the procedure, but their sacrifices led to a successful operation. It was a marathon surgery that indeed, after 32 hours, the surgeons were pictured lying on the floor exhausted, but flashing a victory sign. Number 3. Michael Bates, 46 and a half hours. How long does it take to reattach eight severed fingers? Apparently, the answer can be based on the surgical procedure done to Michael Bates on September 4th, 1981. So what's the answer? 46 and a half hours or almost two days. Bates worked as a factory worker in Bellows Falls, Vermont, whose eight fingers were accidentally cut off by an iron press. So in order to reattach his fingers, the Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston formed a 44-member team of doctors, nurses, and technicians who collectively did a spectacular 46 and a half hour operation on Bates. Dr. James W. May Jr., who headed the surgical team, said the doctor shortened each finger to about three quarters of an inch in order to discard the most damaged parts. While Bates was being treated, the other surgeons prepared each finger for reattachment and 13 anesthesiologists took turns every four hours. Doctors had to remove several veins from his legs and graft them into his hands, thus it became an excruciatingly long operation, but thankfully, Bates didn't suffer from any complications and regained his fingers. Number 2. Gertrude Lewandowski, 96 hours On February 4, 1951, Dr. M. S. Roberts went inside an operating room to perform a surgery and came out on February the 8th. He was instrumental in making a record for the longest surgery ever in America, 96 hours or 4 days. The patient was Gertrude Lewandowski of Burnips, Michigan, a widow who after her husband's death in the early 1940s gained considerable weight. Gertrude ballooned to over 600 pounds, and the cause was later found out as an undiagnosed ovarian cyst. Worse, she developed heart problems. Doctors were in a quandary as how Gertrude's cyst be removed without cardiac complications until Dr. Roberts profoundly proposed a different method of surgery. Like slowly deflating a balloon, Dr. Roberts drained the fluid from the cyst for days until it was small enough to remove surgically without fear of heart complications. The surgery was a success, and from 620 pounds pre-surgery, Gertrude left the hospital at 308 pounds. 
Dr. Roberts may have spent four days inside the OR, but the surgery enabled Gertrude to live a normal life again. Number 1. Ganga and Jumana Shrestha, 103 hours. Asia also has its record of the longest surgery, 103 hours, which the world talked about as a result of the wonders of science and an example of a miracle. Named after sacred rivers in India, conjoined twins Ganga and Jumanda Shreshla were born in 2000 in an impoverished mountainous area in Nepal. The twins' parents brought them to Singapore for a possible operation, and the Singaporeans supported their wish. More than $660,000 was raised from public donations, and the doctors involved waived their fees. So, from April 5th to April 10th, 2011, a team of 16 doctors performed the daunting task of separating Ganga and Jumana. It was a complex and extremely difficult operation because the Nepalese twins shared the same skull cavity and their brains were partially fused. Why the 103-hour surgery? It needed painstaking care in separating hundreds of tiny blood vessels connecting the baby's brains and identifying where each tangled vessel belonged before it was irrevocably cut. The twins survived the surgery, but Ganga left Juma in 2008 due to pneumonia and meningitis. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel for your daily dose of voodoo videos.